Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So today I'm going to go over a mobility strength superset. All right, I'm going to look at the one arm push up today. Um, I like to do this type of superset with movements that have a high demand, uh, especially for mobility. In this case, it's going to be shoulder mobility and actually hip mobility to get myself in a nice wide base support. All right, so I'm going to start with my first assessment of the one arm push up. And then after I do that, then I'm going to see where I feel like I have the most restriction. Most likely it's going to be the shoulder uh, and then probably the hips. I'm going to do a mobility drill and then I'm going to follow that up with another push up. And I'll probably do this overall, which I won't show on the video, for about 10 reps. Just going back and forth, just trying to make this kind of high demand exercise as pretty as possible and see if I can just accumulate more ease in doing the motion as I go through. All right, so the first rep, we'll start on the left side. Pretty difficult to get up. Then I'm going to try the right side. All right, struggling there. Felt like the right shoulder actually was a little bit painful coming up. I want to see if I can make that a little bit easier. All right, so first thing I'm going to look at is working on the shoulder. So by working on the shoulder, I'm going to take a, a monster band, wrap it around a post. All right, I'm going to double it up around my shoulder so it gives me some good intermittent compression on the shoulder and then I'm going to fall forward into a plank position, a suspended plank position, turn my abs on, I want to create a little bit of irradiation by just tightening every muscle I can in my body. And then I'm going to try to recreate the push-up motion, especially with this right arm. So I'm going to pull in like I'm pulling myself to the ground and then I'm going to push away like I'm pushing away from the ground the whole time I'm staying braced through the midline. And then I'm going to use my exhale to tighten my butt, my abs. And I'm going to use my exhale again to pull everything in tight. Really feel myself squeezing the lat to pull everything back and in, keeping the rib cage down. Opening the right shoulder as much as I can. Squeeze my butt, push everything down, push my right hand down towards the ground. Alright, I'm going to try that about five to ten times. For brevity, I'll just do about five. And then I'm going to go to the other side. Get into this plank position, hold it tight, push away, pull back in, feel the shoulder open, rib cage stays down, abs stay on, tighten, pull back in, everything's tight, feeling the shoulder come back into the socket, pushing away, pulling into the body, pushing away, pulling into the body. All right, and now I'm gonna retest. So here's my first retest. So we'll start with the left arm, get set. Quite a bit easier. I'm banging up two now. Right side. Quite a bit easier here. You can feel my left hip a little bit tight. So I'm going to actually look at trying to open up this left hip. So I got to get into hip abduction to give me a good wide base support, but I also have to stabilize while I'm in that hip abduction position. So I'm going to look at improving that mobility a little bit and also getting some of the muscles contracted in a nice abducted position. So to work on this hip abduction, I'm going to use the band again and I'm going to get into a nice half kneeling position. All right, so I'll start with the right leg here. The right knee is going to be down. All right, and I'm going to try to move to the left and open my right hip. The band is basically assisting in trying to pull the hip into the socket. And then from here, again, I'm going to create tightness everywhere, a little radiation, tighten my abs, even pretend I'm doing a push-up position, pull back in, and then come out of it. Try to get a little bit farther. Pull back in, everything's tight. Really just trying to get into this abducted position, come out, a little bit more over. Tighten everything, push out, pull back in. All right, and then I'll try the other side. And so the contraction of the muscle is so key in doing any of this mobility work. It's not just about oscillating and putting the band in position. You actually want to try to create the motion that you're trying to get better, which in this case is hip abduction. And then I want to do that with the push up position stabilizing the center and teaching my body how to create tension 
All right, as I create tension in the muscles, the next time, because I've released that tension, I should be able to get farther down. It's just the contract relax principle. Tighten everything, pull in, make fists, everything tight. Get one more over. Tightening up and releasing. All right, and then I will retest again. We get another retest, we'll start with the left side. All right, so I feel I can get my legs a little bit more spread, but can I be stable there? So we'll test. Much easier. One more. And the right. Much easier. And much less spasming in that left hip. All right, so which made me have more stability. I can actually use my hips to help stabilize me as I push up. Made the exercise easier. All right, so I'd probably go through that at least till 10 reps, if not more, depending on how I'm feeling. All right, so that is a mobility strength superset. If you have any questions, you can go to movementprofessional.com. I'll see you next time.